NASA's newest space observatory allows researchers to see further into the cosmos than ever before. In the cold darkness of deep space, far beyond the reach of even the most ambitious human voyages, the James Webb Space Telescope has turned its gaze towards something unprecedented, an object so strange, so profoundly alien in its properties, that astronomers are reeling from the implications. Suspended in the void like a cosmic riddle, the object defies conventional understanding of physics, light, and time itself. It has been dubbed many things in hushed tones among astrophysicists, but one term seems to be sticking, the dark star. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. This object wasn't found by chance. Scientists were using Webb's unmatched infrared capabilities to survey an ancient region of the universe, one thought to be barren, formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Webb was scanning for early galaxies, wisps of matter clumped into protostructures. Instead, what emerged from the data was an anomaly an intense pulsing signal of heat, not visible light coming from an area that had no reason to shine. It was isolated, distant, and nothing like any known celestial body. At first glance, it seemed like a black hole. The gravitational signature was immense. Space itself seemed warped around it, time seemingly distorted. But the spectral data told another story. Unlike a black hole, this object was emitting energy, but not in the familiar ways. It wasn't radiation from an accretion disk or the chaotic emissions of quasars. This was steady, controlled, almost patterned. The energy output pulsed like a heartbeat, deep and slow, yet completely uniform. That rhythm alone captivated astrophysicists. It suggested some form of regulation, a system at work beneath the chaos. Even more unsettling, the object appeared to be older than the universe should allow. Based on redshift data, it resides more than 13.3 billion light years away. Yet its apparent maturity suggests it has existed for longer than the universe's accepted age. Time, distance, and logic bend around this object like starlight in its gravitational field. It's as if it has slipped through the cracks of cosmic chronology, an echo from a prior reality or perhaps a glitch in the very structure of space-time. One of the first mysteries was its shape. Webb's imaging, enhanced through deep time analysis and gravitational lensing, revealed that the object wasn't spherical like a star, nor flattened like a galaxy. It was something in between, a twisted torus, seemingly rotating along multiple axes. Its symmetry was broken in subtle, unnerving ways, creating interference patterns in the light that passed near it. This object didn't just sit in space, it affected the space around it like a ripple in a frozen pond, warping everything in a radius of several light years. Most disturbing of all, the object seemed to be absorbing information. Webb's data suggested that photons, particles of light, weren't merely deflected or consumed, instead, they were being stored. The light entering the object didn't scatter or vanish, it ceased, as though the object was learning, processing the incoming data. It was as if the universe itself was being watched in return. What's being observed isn't just a massive anomaly, but something active. The object's emissions change subtly when Webb focuses on it longer. After each prolonged scan, the heat patterns shift slightly but with intent. A brief pulse, a pause, a subtle rearrangement of the emission frequency. It doesn't just behave like a natural object, it behaves like something responsive. That possibility has turned the astronomical community on its head. If the dark star is a construct, the implications are monumental. This would not merely be a case of advanced alien technology. It would be a relic of a civilization that existed in the infancy of time, a species capable of manipulating the fabric of space before most stars had even formed. The engineering required to create such a structure is so far beyond anything humanity can conceive that it blurs the line between science and divinity. This would make the object the oldest known artifact in the universe and the most powerful. More speculative minds have drawn connections to theoretical megastructures like Dyson spheres or black hole starships. But this object doesn't consume a star. It is the source of its own energy. Its heat emissions are not consistent with thermonuclear fusion or even Hawking radiation. The energy is uniform, too perfect to be natural, and it's continuous. The output has not changed in the months since Webb's discovery, which is unheard of for any celestial body. Stars flare and fade, black holes erupt with jets of matter, but the dark star pulses with unwavering regularity. Another enigma is its mass. By analyzing the gravitational lensing effects it has on background light, scientists estimate it to be dozens of times more massive than the sun, but compressed into a much smaller volume than expected. It is not a neutron star, not a black hole, and not a white dwarf. 
It's something entirely new, suspended in defiance of all known astrophysics. It doesn't seem to collapse further, nor does it explode. It exists in a state of dynamic equilibrium, as if bound by rules we have yet to discover. Quantum physicists are especially intrigued. The object might not be made of matter as we understand it. It could be composed of exotic particles predicted only in mathematical theories, axions, wimps, or something entirely outside the standard model. Its gravitational field suggests that dark matter may be involved, not as a background presence, but as a core ingredient. Perhaps this object is a literal knot of dark matter, bound so tightly it has become a beacon in the void. But if dark matter is part of its structure, it's behaving abnormally. Normally, dark matter doesn't interact with light. Here, though, the object seems to communicate in heat and energy. Some have theorized it could be a dark consciousness, a concept straight from speculative cosmology where intelligence arises not from organic chemistry, but from quantum fluctuations in the dark matter substrate of the universe. If true, it would mean intelligence may not be an emergent property of biology, but of the cosmos itself. One particularly chilling detail came from an extended scan using Webb's near-infrared spectrograph. The data contained a recurring pattern, not just in the emissions, but in the frequency modulation of the radiation itself. That pattern, upon mathematical analysis, resembled a code. Not a random fluctuation or natural harmonics, but structured sequences. Ratios aligned with prime numbers and Fibonacci sequences. These are universal constants, patterns that appear in biology, physics, and mathematics alike. It's as if the object is broadcasting a message, but in a form no one expected. Not words, not images, just pure math. A language that predates language. Even the cosmic microwave background, the faint echo of the Big Bang itself, appears to dip slightly in frequency around the object. This suggests that the dark star has been there since the beginning of time, altering the shape of the universe's earliest light. If true, it could be the anchor around which some fundamental aspect of reality is tethered. What if this object isn't a rogue visitor, but a keystone? The implications touch everything from cosmology to philosophy. If this object is evidence of intelligence at the dawn of time, it rewrites the story of existence. Life may not be a latecomer to the cosmos, but one of its first whispers, and if this object is still active, still sending signals, then that intelligence hasn't faded. It's still out there, watching, waiting, or perhaps acting in ways we can't comprehend. There's also a growing fear among some in the scientific community that studying the object too closely might trigger an unknown response. Webb's infrared beams are passive, but prolonged observation might be interpreted as contact. The object has already changed slightly in emission patterns, and some worry that it's aware of our curiosity. The question is no longer just what it is, but whether it knows we are here. And if it does, what comes next? This discovery has also begun to splinter theoretical physics. The object seems to operate outside of general relativity, yet conforms to it just enough to make sense within our framework. Some scientists are now exploring the idea that the dark star could be a leak from a parallel universe, a place where time flows differently, where physical laws diverge from our own, and where entities vastly older than our universe dwell. The object may be a doorway, or perhaps a signal flare from another realm. Of all the eerie elements, the most haunting is the silence surrounding it. It emits no radio waves, no x-rays, no neutrinos. All it sends is patterned heat. Silent, patient, deliberate. Like a monolith adrift in a sea of stars, it sits in its lonely orbit, untouched for billions of years, until now. Webb's discovery might not be the first time the object has been observed, but it is the first time humanity has noticed. And that moment of recognition could be the fulcrum upon which the future balances. There are discussions about redirecting other telescopes, both in orbit and on Earth, to focus their efforts on this enigmatic object. Radio observatories, gravitational wave detectors, and quantum field sensors are all being brought into play. The object has become a magnet for curiosity and a crucible for fear. What if we are staring into something not meant to be seen? Not because it is forbidden, but because it is incomprehensible? No one expected the James Webb Space Telescope to stumble upon something like this. It was meant to peer back in time, to catch the first flickers of starlight, not to discover a cosmic paradox. Yet here it is, an object that challenges every assumption we hold about reality. Nestled in a corner of the universe so old, it predates reason. It offers no answers, only presence. A terrifying presence that reshapes what it means to observe the universe. In the dark, vast void of the cosmos, where silence reigns and stars drift like embers, the dark star pulses, slow, 
deliberate, unblinking. It is a question carved in gravity, a message etched in heat, and a mirror held up to the limits of human understanding. With every beat, it dares us to understand, to question, and to wonder if we were ever alone in this ancient watchful universe. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on James Webb's terrifying deep space object discovery? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.